Welcome to the part 2 of this video. We have finished the lower part of the shoe. So we want to continue to the upper part of the shoe. And we are making the right shoe first. So from where we start and um, finished off in the part 1 of this video, we are going to continue to row 8. So chain 1, turn your work, make one single crochet, mark stitch, They make seven more single crochets. This is two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In total, it should be eight. Eight. So this is we have come to the end of row eight for this side of the of the strap. So we are going to continue to row nine, chain one, turn, and just basically repeat row eight. So for this is row nine, one, two. For row 9, 10, and 11, it's just a basic, it's just a repeat of row 8. So that means I'm going to be having 4 rows of single crochet each. So I'm almost through with row 9. So continue with your own work. I will meet you at the end of row 11. So I'm about to finish row 11. So just basically finish that. She want to secure and cut off here. You have finished this side of the strap. So for the other side, we just rejoin our yarn here. I'm doing our yarn with the slip stitch. I'm the stitch marker. You want to secure work one single crochet in that very first stitch mark, then work seven more single crochets, making to sort of eight, two, three, four. Five, sorry, five, six, seven, and eight. So I'm going to make, I'm going to chain you for this strap. So let's chain thirteen. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Then turn our work. You meet the first stitch, the first um, chain from the hook, and walk one single crochet down. So we miss this, then walk one single crochet from here on. So one, we should have for this chains we have a, a total of twelve single crochet. Then plus the twelve eight single crochet we had originally, we should have. A total of 20 single crochet at the end of this row. So I'm going to continue the single crochet to our stitch marker. So 
to continue with your work and I'll meet you at the end of this room. So let's finish row 9 together. Remove the stitch marker. Let's finish this. So for row 10, I'm just going to be scary. Do one single crochet till the end of this. So you should have 20 single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. If you have enjoyed this video so far, please remember to like, subscribe, and share this video so I can continue to bring you new videos in the future. So from this end, you're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And then we slip stitch to the beginning here. So slip stitch here. Then we turn. I make seven single crochet into this chain space. So one, two, three. You can side the chain five or more, depending on the button you're going to be using. Four, five. and seven then you just basically repeat single crochet down to this point and that will be our row 11 so by the time we com complete it to that end we have finished our right shoe all we need to do is just cut off the yarn and sew up the seam then attach a button so let's just finish this I really appreciate your constructive criticism on this video. If there's anything you want me to improve, please add it in the comment section below. And please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. So we're almost through with row 11. Sorry. So you single crochet one here, chain one to secure, and then cut off the yarn. So if you look at this, this is our sew, and this is the top of the boot. So we can decide to sew up the seam first. This is the right side of the boot, you can see this. And this is the wrong side. So with the right side facing, you can sew up from here using the pink yarn. You sew up to this point. Tie our yarn needle. 
and then we sew from here to this end with our cream yeah so you can do that let me do that off camera and i'll join you later for the left booty so i finished sewing up my right booty you can see the seam and i've weaving the hint so let's turn it to the right side so you can see what the booty looks like you just need to add the button to this end and hold it here let me put a dummy foot so you can see how beautiful the booty looks like So you can see isn't this beautiful so let's move on to the left booty so for the left booty you are basically going to do the same thing to row seven that is i'm going to repeat part one again it's just the upper part of the shoe the strap part that will be different remember for our right boot in our right shoe we did this this side first when we finished our row seven so for the left shoe we're going to be doing this side first when immediately we finish our row seven so for row eight on the left but we are going to be doing this side first so let's start so chain one turn your work and single crochet in eight stitches one single crochet each. so one mark Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we chain thirteen, just like the right booty. One, two, sorry. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Then we turn our work, give the first chain, and then the second chain, one single crochet down. To our stitch marker, so you have one, two, three, in all, you should have 20 single crochets. So let's continue. Please do remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. So you just basically continue one single crochet in each stitch to the end of this row. I will join you at the end of the row. So let's finish row 9 together. So in total we have 20 single crochets so for row 10 chain one turn and single crochet all the way up just like we did for our right booty At the end of this row, so we'll be having 20 single crochets.
so I can't get to the end of this row just like the right bit here we are going to chain four sorry so let's chain four one two three and four. We will slip stitch here to the beginning of the first three. We slip stitch. Then turn and do seven single crochet in the chain space. One, two. Three, four, five, six, and seven. So then we continue down here one single crochet in each stitch to just continue. I will join you at the end of this row. So let's finish row 11 together. So chain one and cut off the yarn. And just like the right booty, since we have worked this strap, we're going to do the bottom strap. On the other side, so join with a slip stitch. This side is simple, chain one and single crochet in that same stitch. One and your stitch marker. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So just basically repeat this. Row eight for three more rows. Chain one, turn. One single crochet in each stitch. This is row nine. Then you do the same thing for row ten and row eleven. So continue. I'll meet you at the end of row eleven. So let's finish the eleventh row together. So chain one, maybe a long tail so that we can use this to sew, sew it up. So with this we've finished the booty, but let's just sew this second foot together since I, I sewed up the right booty off camera. So with the long tail here, I'm going to use to sew this part. And with the long tail I left here, I'm going to use to sew the up this part. So let's get started. So you can see the right side is facing. So I'll swap the wrong side.
So after sewing up the sole of the booty, make sure you line up the colors accordingly. The side that is pink, you sew it with pink and you tie it off here. Hiding the tail. Cut. Then we use the cream to sew up the lower part of the shoe, of the sole of the shoe. I'm almost true with sewing up the son of the booty. Once we finish sewing up the sword of the booty, then we can add a decorative edge to the to the booty. I'll just show just one foot on camera and then I'll finish the other off camera then I'll come back to show you what the booties look like so after I did I'm moving in my hands let me use the right leg to show you how to add the decorative edge with the cream color or the off white color or whatever second color that you are using we still stitch around the so um the edge of the shoe you can start at any point that is convenient for you at the back of the shoe so snip stitch around So, do a sniff stitch in each stitch across around the edge of the button. So, let's continue. So, This is not really important, it's just to add a decorative edge. You can choose to or not to add this part to your booty. But to me, it just makes it more beautiful.
So just continue slip stitching around the edge of your booty. And please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. So I can keep bringing you new videos in the future. And get notifications when I post new videos. So continue doing this around. And I'll come back to show you when I finish adding this decorative edge to boots booties. So I have slip stitch round boots booties. And you can see how beautiful this looks like. This looks in the dummy foot. So let me measure the sole so you can see the size. So you can see it's 3.5. Suitable for a 0 to 3 months old. If you would like to make this for a 6 months old baby, I have the written pattern in my rubbery and Etsy store with 4 inch sole. I'll put the link in the description box below. So if you like this video, please. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.